film, the, the name of our film is called Murder Martin. And for now, we've just gone with all these productions for our production company. Uh, brief, brief the storyline. Our opening scene consists of a man named Martin. He starts his day, off, his day as usual. However, he arrives at work to find out all these colleagues are not at work. Intrigued and anxious, he explores the building and he finds out the letter M is written in various places in the building. Martin believes it is a practical joke and his colleagues are playing on him. He returns to his work desk. Then he hears a bang, then he hears banging and sees the flickering and sees flickering lights. Martin tries to see what is the pro what the problem is and is confronted by the silhouette of a man. Martin realizes this is not a joke. This is no joke. Character profile. The first character, the main character is called Martin. Our dream actor would be Devin Sauer because like his ability to produce a frightening character and he can come across as intrigue also. It's shown in previous films such as Final Destination and we feel like he's the perfect man. We feel like he will fit Martin perfectly because Martin is the victim. And what? He is perfect as Martin. And oh my god. Trying to read off the screen word for word. <sighs> you know, you discuss it. So I can't continue now, man. I, I've lost my. Exactly. Train we start again. We start again. That's I'm fine. So just, just like, so he's the perfect victim because of what he looks you, like. Yeah. Can you yeah, like move more? He, he, he's the perfect victim because of what he looks like. Martin is a, a middle class working man who works in a business company, and uh, he is skeptical at first, which dissolves into curiosity, and then therefore he gets scared and results in fatalities. Um, the other character in our film would be the ser serial killer. I think Kevin Space would be the perfect serial killer, as he's shown in like previous films, like Seven. I'm never gonna lie. As soon as I, as soon as I thought about Kev um, serial killer, I was like Kevin Space is straight away because he's like the best serial killer I've ever seen. In Seven, like the stuff that he did and the way he delivered it was like it was all so psychologically numbing. Yeah, I just thought he was the best. The serial killer in our films under um, influence from unknown forces. But he does have a motive for um, taking retribution against the main character Martin. His methods are slay and will induce psychological terror like Kevin Spacey has in previous films. Our genre is a psychological horror film with an element of mystery. As you know, our film company is great at producing these type of horror films and um, their age rating is 15 because there'd be a lot of profanity and elements that would not be suitable for younger viewers such as violence and scenes of menace. The first setting we're going to use is the canal because, as we said, he starts his day as usual, walking to work, and um, it's the first location, and it's where like the chase will start and end because he st starts walking and basically he's being watched by the serial killer. He gets into the building and eventually, after the chase, he runs out on back onto the canal where everything started. The second setting would be the wet place, but the wet place would be bridge as we know. This is where the manhunt begins, and it's based in an office where Martin works. Eventually, um, the chase would start in the school, but then it all like um, it would bubble over onto the canal. Like it would run out of the building onto the canal. I think it's the best place for the. Um, I think this building is the best place for the workplace, as it would be like as the chase is happening in the building. I think it would be good because the um, bridge building is built like lots of staircases that come together in a weird way so it would be good to shoot from those weird angles okay, thank you. <laughs> any questions questions for anyone you said you know how you said them characters are the perfect casting characters but yeah. obviously you're not going to go and yeah. cast them people yeah. so who are you planning to uh, firstly uh, we were spoke to um convinced to, to play the victim. Uh, like we, we're not 100% sure why we were going to put him as a victim. Like we don't know what we're going to use him as yet, but he's definitely going to be one of the uh, actors. In our film. Yeah. But the people that we put there were just saying that um, those are the people that would be perfect for the role. We're yeah. not saying that's not who we're going to use. Yeah, we're going to have to find actors. Mark? Um, I kind of question your age range because you guys said it's a psychological thriller with, you know, yeah, but... It's the of killing stuff 
painting. I'm, I'm, I watched films like this when I was 15, and I think that it hasn't had a bad effect on me. I don't think that anyone below 15 would be watching it. I think if you're 15, you're mature enough to be able to yeah, take what, those type what, of things. What was 7 rate, rated? Pardon? 7, the dog. 7 was rated... I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's it, it wouldn't be as it wouldn't be as chilling as seven. Seven was only rated so high because of the gore in the film. I think if there wasn't as much gore in the film, it would be a fifteen. Nice, your um, your production company, Wally, or Willy, sorry. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you see that has the kind of connotations of like a horror film? No, we're changing it. <laughs> not, 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 not many films like. All production companies have connotations of horror, like New Line Cinema. When you see New Line Cinema, you don't think, oh, New Line, I'm so scared. But it's black and sharp, and then we've got like right, this so you, robot from Wally. Are you saying that I'm scared because I'm black, sir? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Nice. 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 Nice